Okay, your second set of exercise that I have for you is a descending ladder. And usually what you do is you count 10, you go through the round, nine, go through the round, eight. What I'm gonna recommend you doing, because you're getting started, let's start with five. And if you have to do side steps, like the first thing you're gonna do is your reverse lunge in this one, then you're gonna do five on each side. So one and one, two and two, okay? So you have several different exercises, but it's gonna be reverse lunge, push up, flutter kick for your abs, overhead triceps, um, together and then a body weight squat. So this is nice. You don't need that much equipment, just enough um, for your triceps. So again, how this would work is you can start really at any number you want, but I'm recommending you're going to do five. So that's one and one. That's two and two. That's three and three. Okay, that's how you do that. You're going to do your regular push-ups now. And again, on your knees. The biggest thing is we don't want to see sway back. That really hurts. I'd rather see your butt high than low. You're going to gently curl your pelvic under, um, pelvic bone under, and you don't want to be looking at yourself or the floor. So you're going to bring your nose to the floor or as low as you can go. So that's going to be your push-up. Then your flutter kicks for your abs. And again, if... You're just getting back into it. I always recommend people bring one leg up and then the other, okay? And then you can um, put your hands under your backside for stabilization and you just kick. You do not need to make a big move on this and you don't wanna lower your legs beyond the capability of your back. So if your back starts hyperextending, it's better to have your feet up than down. And again, each one counts. One, one, two, two, three, three, that kind of thing. And so what you can do, because again, I'm recommending starting at five, I've written 10, starting at five, you can get through five, four, three, two, one, and if that takes you five minutes or six minutes, you want a 12 minute workout, go back to the top, five, four, three, two, one, and start that way. Then you can build yourself up to 10, eight, nine, eight, that way. Okay, so after your flutter kicks, you're gonna have your overhead tricep. I did not grab my weight, which I should have. So you have a, your weight in your hand, one or two, Biggest thing is you want to lock your elbows forward and you're just going to reach. Now there's plenty of people that body weight is plenty. So your goal is to reach all the way down, squeeze all the way up, and you're using the tricep to straighten the arm. And last but not least, body weight squats like your warm up. You're just coming up and down. And eventually you can get lower and lower. Everybody has a different range of motion. And again, if you've been somebody who's, you know, somewhat sedentary and you sit a lot or have to sit a lot, which you may or may not, um, you know, you're going to have to work on strengthening your hips as well as um, working out your hip flexors because sitting shortens our hip flexors. So just be really mindful of that. That's what I have for exercise round two.